Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and I recently saw this video by Hopescope that I thought was such a fun idea that I really wanted to try it out myself with my own little spin on it. So in today's video we are going to be looking at and reviewing the worst selling items on Princess Polly. So this video is obviously inspired by Hopescope so I'll of course leave it, her video linked down below. So let's cut to earlier this week where I was shopping for the worst selling items on Princess Polly. To find the worst selling items I of course had to head to Princess Polly and I then went into their sales section because these are all the items that they were unable to sell. From there I then went into my size and somehow I was on the US website so I had to google what size I am in US but once I figured out I was a size 2 I was able to add that in and I then went to type in you know order it from best sellers but Princess Polly doesn't have that feature so instead I went from featured and then went to the least featured items and checked the reviews to make sure that like no one had bought them. So these were the worst selling items on Princess Polly and the ones I'm reviewing in today's video. So the items have arrived so let's open them up and see what the worst selling items are like in real life. Let's kick this off with the item that you guys already know about and it is this skirt. I love the packaging that Princess Polly sends their items in because it's biodegradable which is always really cool. So this skirt is not something straight away that I loved. I can kind of see why it might, might be one of the worst selling items just because it's not very trendy anymore. A couple of years ago it definitely could have been but now I don't really love this. It looks to be fairly well made and it was literally $8. Sorry, you can't really do much better than that. It doesn't look to be see-through and the quality on it is normal Princess Polly quality, which is really good. So let's go try this on. This skirt is actually not as bad as I thought. So this is the front and this is the back. I stand by what I said. It's not in style at all. It does kind of remind me of like a little kid's skirt, but for eight bucks, it's really not that bad. It's good quality. It is super comfortable. Like, I cannot convey how comfortable this skirt is. And this outfit really isn't that bad. Like, it's not like it's super, super ugly and really out of fashion or anything like that. It's just a little bit dated. And if it's something that someone out there loves, go for it. You know, why not? I really don't think it deserves to be the one of the worst selling items on all of Princess Polly. But I guess that kind of shows you that all of their clothes are really cool and really trendy if this is considered, if this is something that no one wants to buy on their website, you know what I mean? One thing that I personally hate, and this is just my personal opinion, but I hate skirts like this where they have this sheer overlay and then the like thick fabric part that it's not attached because there have been many a times, and when I say many, I mean many, that I have been wearing a skirt like this and the under part, like the part with the fabric has completely come up and I've had no idea because it feels like to me that the skirt has stayed down properly and I'm fully flashing the world. That has happened many times. So yeah, that's one thing I dislike. But apart from that, it's fine. This next item is meant to be crazy, but I think I could low-key be into it. I mean, surely by now you guys know my style can be a bit crazy at times. And this is the dress. It is a completely see-through mesh dress that has cups on it with underwire and everything. It is exactly like the photo and this was only $18. Can I see why it, no one bought it? Yes. Yes, I can. It's a bit of a crazy design and I'm not too sure what you're meant to wear underneath it without being like too risque and I don't quite know where I would wear actually who am I kidding yes I do we all know I wear this to the clubs let's be honest y'all know I would but it looks to be fairly well made and for $18 it's good quality it's just a crazy design so let's go try it on. this dress may be a little much even for me I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this yet but this is the front and this is the back so the model looked absolutely gorgeous in this dress and she was just wearing like black underwear underneath I'm wearing a black high-waisted bikini bottoms probably wouldn't wear these out because you know it's not good to wear bikini bottoms out, but just for the sake of this video, that is what I put on. And I'm not wearing a bra or anything underneath because you really don't need to with this. That's one positive. It does have wiring and keeps everything in, but I can see why this was one of the worst selling items on Princess Polly, and it's just because it's out there. That is for sure. It is definitely a commitment to wear this out, and it's kind of like one wrong move, and I will be flashing a titty. It's gonna happen. Like, it's not very secure. Everything is in, but everything is not secure. And I do love it. I just don't know. I don't know if I'm confident enough to wear this out because part of me doesn't like this dress, but then the other part of me knows dang well that if like Rihanna or someone wore this, we would all love it, you know? So I just don't know how I feel. I think I like it, but I don't think it's for me. I did some more research into Rihanna's outfits, and because she is an absolute queen, she has actually worn something very similar to this before. In 2013, she wore this dress that was completely see-through and quite similar to the one that I was wearing in this video and then recently in 2019 
She wore something that was sort of similar on the same vibe. So I was right. Queen Rihanna does like this style. This next item is another dress. It's not quite as crazy, but it is still a little bit cray cray. So let's just see what it looks like. This is the dress. It is this red snake skin like vinyl material dress and I low-key love it. It's kind of odd. Can kind of see why this would maybe be one of the worst selling items because, you know, the crazier the item, the less people are going to want it. But I think it's still kind of cute. And when buying this, I definitely thought that this model was Alexis Ren. On closer inspection, I don't think it is, but I do think it is her long lost twin. So let's go put this on and see what we think. As predicted, I really don't love this dress. So this is the front and this is the back. And I just kind of think that it's a little bit ill-fitting. And I think that largely comes down to the vinyl material because it's not like tight where it's hugging all my curves. All my curves. But you know what I mean. Like it's not, you know, it's not showing off my body, but then it's also not loose. So it just looks a little bit odd. And this straight neckline just doesn't look good with this vinyl material. And it's also really uncomfortable to wear. So honestly, out of all these items so far, this is the one that I can understand the most on why it's, you know, one of the worst selling items. All the others I'm kind of like, ah. Oh, I mean, I guess, but this one I can, I can tell, especially for the original price. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I'll put it on the screen now. Now, For the original price, that's quite a lot of money, you know, so yeah. I don't love this. I think someone out there will love it. It's a gorge design and it works well in theory. It just doesn't fit really well. And the lucky last item in today's video is this brown colored item. And brown is super on trend right now. So let's see what this looks like. And this is the item. It is this brown t-shirt style play suit with a belt on it and honestly the quality on this isn't that great I really don't love the quality it's completely see-through and it's just not very nice so I can kind of see why this would be one of the worst selling items but before I make too much of a judgment let's just go put it on and see what we think this item also is not great mainly because I can't do it up <laughs> I am too scared to try and do this zipper up because I really think it's just gonna rip. This quality is awful. Like, as I'm doing up the zipper, I'm pretty sure I could hear stitches popping. And it's not because it's like the wrong size, it's just that it's such a thin fabric attached to this zipper that pulling on it at all is causing it to rip. And it just like, it's not very flattering. I think we can all agree it's not flattering. I don't know what the point of this belt is. I looked it up and this is like how it's meant to be worn. I don't really understand that. Now, obviously, this isn't something I would normally wear anyway, this sort of, like, play suit with the skirt on top, like a skirt. But I can understand if you're at uni or something and you just want to wear something casual that you could see this online and be like, oh, yeah, I'll wear that. That'll be cute. But I can definitely see why no one bought this because the quality is awful. The design is there. I can see why people would want it and why Princess Polly thought people would want it. But the quality just ain't it. It's really not it. It's just so bad. It is... Something that I would expect to get from like Wish, not Princess Polly. And I know I got it on sale and it's super cheap, but the original price I don't think is worth this at all. And those were the worst selling items on Princess Polly. I really did like some of these. Others, I can definitely see why not many people bought them. So once again, as with anything with fashion, it just shows that it's all up to your personal opinion and that it is completely subjective. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and also my vlog channel. I will, of course, as always, have all of those links on the screen right now and also linked down below. And that's all for today's video. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.